So let's create our first template. Template is the structure that you want to use when you are to display one of your pods. And they can be simple or they can be super uh, complicated if you want to. And if you really want, you can actually also address templates in from PHP code. And then you can kind of do everything. But in our case, we can use a kind of simple one. So let's create a new one. Uh, and let's start by creating one for the courses. And when you create a template, uh, you usually need at least two templates for each pod. Uh, you need one for when you view the pod in a single view. That means that you view one project, one course, and then maybe some other when you would like to view multiple uh, courses. So let's start with a course single, like this. Um, you see that you can also restrict the content if you only want administrators to be able to do this one. Well, then you can select that one here. But I'll leave it as this. Um, what you should do is that you should select the referenced pod here. And in our case, we are referenced courses. And now you get a long list here with everything uh, you can kind of reference in that one. Um, and you can start to write your template here in this code area. So let's say that we should have a section with a class equals uh, course info like this. And here we would like to output maybe a p tag. And then we would like to have the course code. And how do we output the fields then? Well, to output a field, you write the curly braces and the at sign, and then you see you get a pop-up here, and in our case, we wanted to have the course code, like this, and then we can close the p tag. If you then later on realize that hmm, p tag was not uh, that good, I need a list, uh, so I wouldn't need an ul or an li or whatever, well, then you can fix that later on, um, because if you go back and change anything, this is just how it should be viewed. So if you change it later on, well, then the next time you view your pod, it will use the new setting. So, but let's also add the semester that we also had. And uh, again, curly braces at and then semester. And then we close the P tag. And then I actually close this section. And then we can think about, okay, wouldn't it be nice that when we viewed a single view of a course that it also lists all the projects to that course? Yes, that would be nice. So let's add a new section here. Section and let's have a class equals course dash projects. And now we need to kind of loop through this. We can have multiple projects. We can't just output a field. We need to loop through them and set up the structure for all our um, different projects. So to loop through something, you write a hard bracket and then the word each. That will create a f kind of for each loop. Uh, and then we need to also say, we would like to loop through the projects. And this is a field that you can find here uh, somewhere in this list. Um, because we have set the, that one up in the uh, course. So now let's say that e those will be rendered as an article with a class equals project like this. And then we could maybe output a span with a class of uh, project dash thumbnail or something. Um, and now we would like to output the image. And how do we output the image? Do we need to grab the URL? No, you can just add the field like this, post thumbnail. But the problem with just the post thumbnail is that that is usually 150 by 150. And if you would like to have a large image, well, then you can actually add a dot and then say that you would like to have at least a medium image, maybe. Uh, and then we can be done with that one. And then we also would like to have the title. Uh, so let's add this as an h3. Uh, and we now have the field that is called uh, post 
name because that we we didn't add a specific title field we use the standard post name and then we close the h3 and then we close the article oops that was not the close sign like this and finally we should also close the section now we have two problems the first problem is that okay you can see all the projects but you can't click them to take you to that project so we need to be able to do that in some way um, so we need to add a link somewhere so let's add that one up here on the image and of course i would probably link also the um, the title but when you add a link what how do you link how do you get the url to that one well what we need to do here is that we could use something that is called the global unique identifier uh, and that is the full url to that one uh, so this is all we need and then of course we need to close this one at the other end here and if you think that the anchor should be outside the span well then you can move it to that i leave it as this at the moment but maybe i would like to have this one also down here so i can also click the title for good usability so uh, that was the first problem the second problem is that if we have a course with no project we will still output the course project it will loop through this one and now we also need to close the each i realize uh, close each otherwise it will not work well um, so we will get this extra html code and this is tiny part of code so it's not a big problem but if you would like to make this a little bit more fancy you can actually also add an if statement and if statements in pods are fairly limited because what you can say is that you can say if and then maybe projects and that will be the same as if you have any projects then you should render the following and then we close the if statement so now we can publish this one uh, and now if we go back this was a course so let's go back to our courses all courses and then we can view this one and it still doesn't show up why we created a template but we haven't yet told the system that it should use this template so you do that under the pods so if you go to the uh, courses pod and then under the auto template options you can actually enable this one and then you can select when you view a singular version of this one which template should be used we should use the course single and then you can select where should the information in your template show up should it replace well then you also need to ensure that you handle the title and the content so on and so forth but i will put mine after this one so i will first have everything that is kind of standard and then it will uh, come up to this one uh, i will not add anything add anything else uh, so i save this one and now again if we go back to courses all courses and we view the ux design course you see that we have the ux design some info about the course we don't see the course code and the semester that was strange why is that